we're back now after a little break from some minor te technical difficulties and we're about to do Hotline Miami. Uh, run by Cursed1701. Say hello to everyone, introduce yourself and uh, how you came about running this and then we'll start in a minute. So yeah, hi, I'm Cursed1701. I started speedrunning this shortly after the Billy Mitchell stuff came out and I kind of found out about speedrunning. <laughs> Maybe. Nice. That's what I'll you try. Need. I'll try. Uh, I mean, there's a massive amount to say before we start. So, like, it's it's a top-down shooter. It's quite easy to die, but I'm gonna try to avoid that. Are we ready to start the timer? Okay. Three. Two, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Sorry about that. So <laughs> good. Uh, just trying to get the audio working correctly. I think we should be able to hear everyone now. If everything's speaking. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Uh, hear me just like right? speak yeah, into the mic. Let's yeah. speak some words and hope this works. Yeah. Because <laughs> if this works, that'd be great. Alright, okay, cool. We'll yeah. start now. Audio is all fine. Okay. I think we're all good now. So uh, we're ready to start soon. Just before we start, we have two donations oh, that cool. gave in because uh, Just Giving was down. So um, yeah. uh, we have one anonymous donation for £25. It just simply says donations work again. So hype. <laughs> Good and time. then we have another donation from Big Prez for £10, saying donations are kind of working, good luck to all the runners. <laughs> nice. So, Thank good you. luck to all the runners. Okay, so yeah, uh, starting three, two, one, and go. So, uh, the first thing we should explain is that you're playing as Jack throughout this run, and so you have a lot of masks to pick for. Uh, it's like 25 or 26, but there's only kind of two masks that we... Well, it's like three masks that you can use to get through this run. Only two of them for New Game Plus, any percent. So, we use Brandon, this this purple guy, because he's a... Uh, I forget, it's either a 30 or a 30... Oh. It's either a 30% or a 33% increased movement speed. Now, in itself, that isn't kind of that much faster than just not using a mask, not dealing with the mask selection, which does take time, but... Uh, it means we can make some earlier cycles, uh, we can run up to people to be seen less, because being seen by people means we die. Uh, <laughs> the only annoying thing about this category really is that we do have to pick a mask every time, but the advantage of that, which I'm going to be showing off in kind of a few minutes, is it means that we'll like, if we do want to pick a different mask, it's not going to give us any difficulties. Like, we don't lose any time from changing masks compared to... The main catch of this game is all levels, uh, where you really just stick with one mask, you play through the story. You don't do this menuing that I'm doing, because... I kind of against that category. These first few levels are really just kind of tutorial, uh, shouldn't be losing too much time here. Oops. Yeah, you make it look pretty easy. Oh, uh, that... This level is kind of the most difficult in the first chapter, because, like, we've got... So that was pretty clean, which I'm pretty happy about, but this next level would be more difficult. Uh, but fortunately, because of just how this game handles a few things, uh... We're not going to play through it in the developer intended way. So, obviously the game wants us to kill everyone in this first floor, go into the second floor, kill everyone there, come it down and fight a boss, but we're just going to kind of kill that guy through a wall because the game has really great hitboxes and that's level up. <laughs> yeah, it's... Wow. <laughs> I think I'm blinked then. <laughs> yeah, there's one skip that might be faster if I don't mess up, but that's... I'm not going to claim that's a hard skip to do anything. Like, you could do... you could go home and do that pretty easily. So, this is Tony, the other mask I use, because it's purely for that top left room. Like, he makes it super... 
per consistent and just you don't have to you don't really have to deal with RNG in this room. I mean level I mean you do a little but it's vastly reduced. He gets insta kill right? Yeah, so his fists Ooh, that was close. Uh normally with every other mask, you punch someone, they drop their weapon, they go down. Tony kills them, which also means you get instant executions. So when you press if an enemy goes down, you can press space to go to execution. Everyone else has, I think it's three hits, but with Tony it's one, which is just so nice. Probably should have given some warning for the room that we just went through, where you have to blow it up. Yeah, I, can, it, it's I even mentioned that. Was that the game? That was the yeah, game. Yeah, I mentioned it before the run, and then just completely forgot about it. <laughs> That's on me. Okay. So. All right, well, I'm glad it's not our equipment. <laughs> Yeah, I got some worried looks to from the left. Oh, yeah. So I've team. messed. Out. Okay, I messed the side there. So something I should probably talk about now from the game is so when we have to pick our mask every level, like the cycle starts as soon as you can see the mask selection screen, which means when we pick the mask, like for this route, that first floor, you have to play it pretty differently because you end up on a like a half cycle different. Oh, there we go. Is there any glitches in this game that you're going to be using? Uh, I mean, there's the executing through walls, which is the main thing, but there's not really any, like, All right, so that's not in tech. Tech. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's, I mean, there's, there's two mechanics that this game doesn't actually tell you about, which is great, but... So, if you are holding a double barrel shotgun or an Uzi, and you hit space, you pick them up like this, which the game kind of never tells you about. And that's lucky I killed everyone there. Nice. <laughs> but that's why I throw the assault rifle there, because it's like... So the developer intended strategy for this room is... I messed that up. Uh, there's a window on the right there. I want you to go out there, but I need to pick up this weapon. But it's much faster just kind of not do that. <laughs> just from run down center. Now, uh, we're coming up to a level called Neighbours, which is... It's kind of when this run starts to get difficult. Like, most of this up to now... Bits of RNG, but really not too much. This skip saves 15 seconds if you do it right. So, I, first thing I walk right, and then I walk left, There's I'm stopped by an invisible wall. Okay, this is bad. So I don't want this guy with a shotgun to be here. He should not be here. I might get stuff, but essentially we need to get two people to do the same skip we saw earlier. Like, because we need one person. Let's, see, let's help him out. We need one person to get past the invisible wall, and then we need a second person to actually get us into the car. And I need him to. Okay, there we go. That was a little sketchy, but. So what's actually oh. happening there? So, the reason it gets us past the invisible wall is every time you do an execution in this game, as opposed to the game's kind of moving your character and animations, uh, the game just kind of destroys you and then creates a new you, which means, like, you can kind of get through walls. Yeah, it's like nothing stops the animation. Mm. Um, even walls don't stop it. Ooh, that was... I nearly did something really bad there, but it's fine. So, this guy is Biker. We don't, because we're skipping so much of the story, like, we don't ever really know why he's here or what he's doing until later in the run, but. Ooh, remember him. Just remember him. I mean, I've, I've played it regularly and I still barely understand the story. Yeah, that's hotline. <laughs> there is a very fancy glitch you can do there. That saves six seconds if you do it right and soft watch the game if you do it wrong. But uh it doesn't sound right and say. No. Also I don't know how to do it. Do we no. have a when's a good time to our donation? Pretty much now. Okay, we have a ten pound donation from Barney saying good luck curse, drinks on me when you get back to uni. Uh glad to hear it, Barney. Sounds like a plan. So this level is like the same but the story of how we learned to skip that level is kind of weird, so... <laughs> Some random guy on a YouTube video basically said, why don't you skip this level? And we were like, you can't. 
that's impossible. And he was like, no, 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 you can do it, just do this. And then someone tried it and was like, oh, guys, we can skip this level. So <laughs> the world record kind of just did a massive jump around that time. Huh, that's nice. So the cycles again, we have to play it a little bit differently depending on whether we're on like the first cycle or the death cycle. Now this bottom room is RNG where those two guys are, so you kind of have to just play it as it comes. This room uh, nearly lost a life in my spare. And he's killed ten people, which is basically there we go. You need to try to use guns to lure people, but luring people is RNG. So you don't lure people, which is the strategy for that room, and then you lose time, but you're doing good enough. It's ten people and then the flea shot, isn't it? Yeah, uh, this is so hot and heavy. Oh boy. <laughs> Already chapter ten. Okay. Yeah. So this level because of the mask selection, I choose to take the death cycle every time because uh, otherwise it just ends up being a little bit more horrible than I want to deal with. Wait, death cycle? So when I uh, do the mask, so again, like cycles start from as soon as you can see the mask selection screen, the cycle has started. So. For some levels, it doesn't matter too much, like, we can uh, move around a little differently, pretty much end up on the same cycle and play out as normal, but when you die, the cycle resets, and you don't have to deal with... Oh, that's bad. You don't have to deal with the... Hmm. I might die again because I messed up my movement at the start. Oh, yeah. So, getting into this room is difficult because you need to basically hold left enough at the start to get into the room, not hold it too long or uh, the guy in the top will see you, then get down enough to make sure the bottom guy sees you, then pray for gun luck in this room, and I don't know where the second gun is. Uh, this is too many people you kill. I don't like this. Okay. Yeah, no mind. Okay. So, ha having these two guys here have double barrel shotguns is. I don't know the exact odds, but it's not good. Okay, that's. Hmm. It's that, that guy there who's gonna. So, there's a guy in the top who I'm trying to avoid, and there's this guy who we normally don't have to deal with. Wow, that was. I'm surprised I made that, but. There we go. Nice. <laughs> there's, yeah, a, like a there's a lovely strat for Tony in that room that involves just getting a gun, bring it in, and killing like most people at the start. Uh, you can do it with other masks, but it's kind of not ideal. Now these fat guys, I kind of haven't really talked about, but you can only kill them with guns. Uh, they take six bullets to die, but they kind of start dying as soon as you shoot them. Okay, now we're coming up to, like I said at the start, provided I do this right, this next level should be the fastest skip. And then, oh, the chapter off, like the whole... Do we have a time for a couple of donations? Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay, we've got one. Do we've got £25 pound donation from Sankoy saying, donating for Mario Kart items, enjoy Murtag. <laughs> Uh, and we've got a twenty dollar donation from Yi Yi saying, "I love any and all charity gaming events, especially when they involve speedrunning. Thanks for using this super cool platform and activity to raise money for great causes like Special Effect. Thank you very much, Yi." And then that level was just done. Yeah. <laughs> so every four levels is like kind of a part or a chapter, and this is sort of the most broken chapter because we've got sort of skips for three of the four levels, which is pretty cool. So first here is Trauma. Uh, because we don't actually finish the previous level or see any of the cutscenes, we have no idea why we're here, but we woke up in hospital. Uh, we need to get out. We don't want to be in the hospital. We've got people to kill, places to be. Uh, I'm going to crash the game after this because the game saves as soon as you enter the cutscene, and it's faster to crash the game and relaunch it than it is watch it, so let's just crash this.
if you were quick, you might have seen the save icon in the bottom right hand corner. The classic, yeah, reboot the game. Mm -hmm. file. Yeah. Now, Assault is. Oh, it's a headache for a casual level because the police just. They, this one. They're more random. Yeah, this one. Uh, and then we kind of skip this level, and it's not much better because it's very finicky and. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, <laughs> so we need to step slightly into the room to lure two of those three guys, but not too far because otherwise we lure too many people. Uh, if we don't walk, get far enough in, then we don't lure enough people, and sometimes just other people will see you. But it's like, it's the same with neighbours, we need one person to get out, then more one person to get his car. We need to get the car from the top, otherwise we don't skip the level. Oh, there we go. Nice. You were like half in the car. Oh, <laughs> that's enough. close. I think it's dark, you just sort of walked on. Yeah, it's... As soon as you get kind of into the car, you do that walking animation. Now, Vengeance, we skip as well, but... It skips finicky because this guy can have... Okay, so he's got a melee, but he can have one of two weapons. And if he has a melee compared to a gun, he has a different reaction time, which means you need to stand in a different position. And you don't know what weapon he has until he shows you it, so... I feel like you're... Your ankle was in the car now. <laughs> yeah, it's like how far up or below you are, it doesn't matter. It's all about how far left or right you're like. If you if you're too far left, then you just won't get into the loading zone or whatever it is. But this is I know it's gone quickly, but this is the end of the main story. Uh, if you really want to know why why this guy some of these guys are here, you need to play Hotline 2, which I don't recommend, but it's pretty much an auto scroll, like, you can get some bad RNG, but not really. He, he shoots himself in the head at the end, isn't it possible to get shot if you stand in Oh the yeah, you can, you can die to that. <laughs> uh, I think in one of my PBs I got shot, but survived a bullet. Uh, so, I, there's a mechanic that I don't think has come up in this run so far, which is quite fortunate. Uh, every gun in this game has, like, a base... I think 90% chance to kill. So if you're lucky, you can survive a bullet, but it means the enemies can as well. Mm. Which oh. is just a lovely mechanic to deal with. As if we don't have enough RNG. If that never happened in the run, we've never had anybody die not die with a Oh it, it, it's oh, I hit escape too earlier. So cutscenes have just scrolled by and it, it's definitely happened. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh so we're gonna go back in time here. We've got about three minutes left run and this is a biker hey, it's like a... yeah we get to play as him so compared to the standard character he's got like 115 percent movement speed but so it's a little faster it kind of helps because you're basically stuck with melee like you've got three of these ranged weapons uh but that's it yeah this room's it looks really nice if you can get it first try because it's just so many enemies so quickly. It's hard to tell based on how quickly you're doing it, but this game is super meat boy level of difficulty and, and speed. Yeah, I mean, I think a casual playthrough is probably five ish hours. Yeah, it's not right. It's pretty good efficiency. I mean, this is. So this is any percent compared to all levels. It's like a few minutes faster because we skip some levels and also we skip a lot of cutscenes. Uh, currently, this category is in a weird state because the new game any percent is faster than the new game plus any percent. Oh, I don't like what that guy. Okay, so that guy is standing still. He's always there, but that second guy is RNG. So. Probably should have tried to get a knife on him from below, but yeah. you do just need to play this. Why was he there? <laughs> yeah, this game looks so easy. 
like in this all you have to do is just click around and then you just die out of nowhere and like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's, there's some devs that like... Okay, so I got that still guy. Uh... There we go. Phew, now that's... We got like a minute to wrap up some story stuff, which doesn't really make sense for this category, but... Well, uh, we've got one more fun piece of tech. But yeah, that's that last level, that that patrolling guy, uh, the guy who's randomly walked around the top of room, he's he's the real final boss of this game. <laughs> hey, we did. <laughs> Feel like three tries, but now so this guy here, we want to kill him at range because it skips the text box. We also need to get to the computer quickly. We don't want to throw the knife too late because it means we move slower. But if he stands in front of the computer, you just lose a bit of time. Oh yeah, so this is Jacket. Hey, we got it. Nice. So again, because because when the game does executions, it destroys you and creates a new you. You just pass clean through that wall. Now, because of where the game saves, uh, and this category you were required to use to get all end level triggers, we can't use menuing here, but it would only be like a second fast if we could. Now this, there's kind of a cryptic talk with these guys, we ask them questions and they don't really give you answers and you can kill them if you want to, but so time's coming up when we reach the bike. That was a pretty intense final level. And time. <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah. Good run. Good run. Good run. Yeah. Cool. I think it was about 19 minutes 37 in the end, or 38, I hit the time. I will take that. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pretty yeah, so I was losing about 2 minutes to my PB and about 3 minutes and a half to the world record. Nice. That's pretty good for a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, mate. Good job. Yeah, I've been managed to get him super grunge this week. Uh, thanks to Barney for donating. Uh, that was appreciated. If anyone has any questions about any of this, join the... Uh, hotline Miami Speedrunning Discord, you can find it on speedrun.com. And shout outs to mainly Dr. Urenstein, but like everyone else on the Discord for getting me to run this category and get better at it. Are the other leaderboards on speedrun.com? Oh yeah, there's there's kind of three main categories and then some other ones. And that's cool. pretty much it, unless there's anything else. No, that's okay. Thank you very much for the run. Cool. and. I just want to take this opportunity to talk to you about the raffle. So when you donate every two pound, um, can you still hear me? Yeah, okay. Every two pound that you donate, you get an, one entry into the raffle to a limit of 100 entries. And there's some amazing <laughs> prizes, like actually amazing. There's a Rocket mouse, a Rocket headset. There's like pull out books, Discord t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the whole list is on the is on the Just Giving page, so incentive to donate. There's a pushy blast. Oh yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much. We're going to go to the break screen, and we'll be right back with Tomb Raider.